the next generation provides data points into what's next. What's next for your industry? What's next for your business? What's next for your team? What's next for your communication? What's next for your training? What's next for fill in the blank? Now more than ever, if we understand the emerging generation, we can pivot our skill sets, we can pivot our marketing, we can pivot our industry, we can pivot our organizations so that we can thrive in the 21st century. Many of you are working across four different generations right now, but in the very near future, you're gonna be working across five, six, seven different generations in the very near future. So the tensions that you and I experience leading, training, communicating across generations will only intensify moving forward. Because again, the more that we're living longer, thus we're gonna be working longer. So it's important that we have a firm understanding of who these generations are and that we're equipped with strategies to navigate uh, these generational tensions. But generational diversity really creates cognitive diversity. That's really what we're after, right? Different perspectives, different experiences coming to the table. The more perspectives we can have at the table, the better decision making we can have. Like-minded teams maintain, but diverse teams will innovate. And I think you and I both can agree that today we need to innovate faster than ever before. Best ways to alleviate the friction that happens across generations is through awareness and understanding and appreciating the differences that happen across generations. This new generation cannot remember a world where a smart device has been outside of arm's reach. That's fundamentally reshaped how they socialize, how they network, how they show up at work, how they consume information, how they fill in the blank. It's changed everything. And so really, if you think about it, it's one of the first times ever that an emerging generation has skills and knowledge that they can transfer up. That really hasn't happened in any other time in history. So truly, it's a fundamental shift. Millennials are the first generation that would actually consider a city before selecting a job. So they'll move somewhere without a job and they'll just think, I'll get a job when I, when, I, when I get there. To some of you, that would blow your mind, right? I would never move somewhere without a job. Why is that the case? We live in a connected world. I don't have to be in the same physical location, the same city as my employer to do work anymore. The world's changed. New generations, they can't remember a world prior to Uber. Because they can't remember a world prior to Uber, to them, Uber is not an invention, it's not an innovation, it's standard. It's where their expectations start. Another example is I have two young children at home. Again, I live in Atlanta, Georgia, in the United States. I have two young children under the age of three. My two kids will never know a world where they can't tab, tap a slab of glass and order pretty much any product they can think of and have it delivered to their front door within an hour via a drone. They will never know a world where that doesn't exist. And because they don't know a world where that doesn't exist, that fundamentally reshapes how they expect goods and services to be delivered to them. They're gonna show up inside your workplaces a much different being, with different expectations, different behaviors, no fault of their own, it's just because they're a new generation and they have new thinking, they have new expectations. And that's true of all of us. No matter your generation, if you can't remember what it was like before an invention, to you it's not an invention. It's standard, it's normal. And that's where your expectations start. And that doesn't make you entitled. That makes you a new generation with new thinking in a new reality. And this is a generation that understands that nothing significant can happen individually. It takes a team. It takes a diverse team. Well, the same way that you and I are empowered consumers, the new generation, they're empowered employees. And if they feel dis dissatisfied, if they're disengaged at work, they're empowered to go elsewhere. And they're a finger swipe away from finding an employer, finding an organization, a leader, a team that can deliver on their elevated expectations. Ryan tapped into a lot of the things that I felt that, um, you know, I was. 
and in a way and in a light and in a perspective that I felt that I can identify with and that I was just really glad that the crowd itself can really understand the value and what it means to be a millennial and what we can offer to the workplace and then even the communities around us. I think Ryan uh, was, was incredibly engaging and then the graphics and, uh, and other illustrations and stories that he used were, were really helpful. So yes, millennials, yes, Generation Z are all demanding change, but bigger picture is that the exponential times that you and I live in are forcing us to change. If we ignore it, if we rest on what's always been and the status quo, we will be passed at the speed of Uber. This is always how we've done it mindset is a slippery slope to irrelevance. Irrelevance for your customers and clients, and now more than ever, irrelevance for your employees as well. We cannot ask, nor should we want the new generation to work like previous generations have worked. Instead, we need to encourage and equip them to find the new frontiers of work. Because after all, a new generation requires new thinking. How will they change your organization? How will they change your industry? And are you ready? Don't panic. My name is Ryan. I'm your friend. We're going to figure this out together.